Oh, Makiyomi. They're finally awake. Does this mean... Can they see us? They should be able to. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, yes, yes. They're definitely awake. Hmm. Hello, human. Welcome to the dream realm. And might I say, you're looking lovely this evening. They look very confused as well. Perhaps we should explain ourselves. Uh, yeah, um, can you do it, Akane? Ugh, must I do everything? Uh, no, it's just... You're better at words than I am. All right, all right. No need to worry your pretty little head about it. I'll take care of it. Hello, human. I am Akane, and this is Hiromi. May we be the first to welcome you to what we demons like to call the Dream Realm. Yes, you heard me correctly. Both Hiromi and I are demons. Specifically, we are both a demon known as a succubus. Now, you probably don't even know what that means, so I'll explain it to you, since this one over here doesn't want to. It's not that I don't, it's just... Shh. Don't worry, I've got it. A succubus is a type of demon that has been around for many a generation. As succubi, we feed off of the essence or the energy that humans have. Humans like yourself. Young things full of life and youth and vigor. That's our preferred type of human, at least. <laughs> now, Hiromi and I are a special case. You see, succubi almost always work alone because... We don't want to have to share the energy we harvest with anyone. We want all for ourselves. That's how it is in the demon realm, survival of the fittest. But Hiromi and I found ourselves crossing paths more often than not. It's true. We had and still do have similar taste in humans, and more often than not, we found ourselves after the same human's energy. We competed ceaselessly, until one night, we decided, Hey, let's stop competing and actually start working together. It had never been done before. A lot of the other demons think we're crazy, but we don't care. We have an excellent partnership. That's been going on for hundreds of years. Yes, we are that old. He looks so shocked. <laughs> Did you really think we had human lifespans? No, no. Succubi can live forever, so long as they take care of themselves. Silly little humans. You know nothing. You walk around thinking you're all high and mighty, but you know nothing. Aren't they funny, Hiromi? <laughs> yes, yes they are. Oh, you silly little beans. You really think you're the highest and mightiest species. We were here before you, and we'll be here long after you. <laughs> Now, one more thing you should know. 
The way we succubi extract energy from our human donors is by visiting them in their dreams. At least at first. If we can reserve enough power, we can take on real-world bodies and visit you in the real world. But unfortunately, it takes a lot of power to do this, power that we currently do not possess. You see, Hiromi and I, we have not been able to find an adequate amount of sustenance of late, for reasons. The reason is, is that we haven't really found anyone good enough lately. I'm telling you. Ugh, really, Hiromi? Can you please not tell them everything? Try to be a little bit more professional. Sorry, it's just, it's true. And besides, it's a compliment. They should take it as a compliment, because that's what it is. All right, all right. Whatever. So yeah, we're a little picky. Deal. But you, our dear little human, are full of so much life and youth and vigor and radiance. That's something we really like in our humans. That's the type of human that we try to look for. Yes. And you fit the bill. Oh, yes, yes, you do. Uh, uh, enough small talk already. I'm weak and hungry, and I want... I want food, and I know you do, too. Come on! Patience, patience, come on. We need to make sure we do this right. I know, but they know all the details. <sighs> all right, all right. Don't make a fuss. Look, human. We're going to start feeding off of you now. But don't worry. It's not as painful as you might make it out to be. In fact, the experience can be rather enjoyable. If you submit willingly and just let us do our thing. Exactly. We don't want to have to use drastic measures such as restraint, but we will if we have to. We'll do whatever it takes to get our fill. And you, our darling dear human, will not get in the way of what is rightfully ours. Now. How about you just sit back and relax and let us do the work? You'll find this experience to be very pleasurable indeed. Let's get started. I'm starving. All right, all right. Yes, good human. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.